Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a July favorites. I can't believe July is over. I can't believe I have a one-year-old, which we'll talk about that in a minute. This whole year has gone by really fast, but I'm okay with where we're at right now because fall is so soon. You guys know I'm always ready for the fall and this is where I start to really get excited. A lot of people have already started like, well, I mean, I've even started buying a couple fall decorations, but like people are like, oh, I'm decorating in August. I'm not really there. I, I wait till September, but just the looming that is the, the fact that it's looming. I'm so excited and ready and I can't wait. But yeah, today's video is just going to be a chatty favorites video. I have a whole random slew of things. So I feel like it's gonna be a very random chatty video. I actually haven't sat down in a very long, what's happening? I haven't sat down in a very long time to film. Actually, as of now, I haven't even put up a video in like two weeks, which I hate, but it just has been kind of a whirlwind. If you saw the last video, you know we got COVID again, which is so embarrassing that I've gotten it twice. <laughs> I know it's not actually, but we got COVID again. Well, me and Milo got COVID again. Bradley's a bitch and didn't get it again. So that took us out for a little bit just because it hit Milo first. So I was taking care of him, then it hit me. So then Bradley was taking care of us both. <laughs> Bradley's had the opportunity to work a lot. So he has been and continues to, which is fantastic. And I'm always like, yeah, take all the extra work and I will work during naps, but then I, Milo's naps, but then I also nap myself. <laughs> but then it was Milo's birthday. He was born on July 27th, 727. My um, C-section was 727 at seven. And I was like, and I, they told, I didn't pick this date. They just told it to me. And I was like, that just seems really peaceful. And I loved it. Or maybe it was 7.30, but it was a lot of sevens. He didn't end up being born until 8.30, but just, I, I anyway, whatever. <laughs> so we had his birthday. We spent the birth, his actual birthday, just the three of us. And it was really nice. We went swimming. We went to the park so we could ride the swings and down the slide. Ate his favorite foods, had a smash cake, and he loved it. And I loved it. I was obviously very sentimental that day. And just, I, I was an emotional wreck, but in the best way. And then we were toying with the idea of throwing him a little birthday party. I obviously wanted to, but then COVID got bad again. So I was like, oh, maybe we shouldn't. And then we got COVID and then I was like, well, since I don't have to worry about Milo, <laughs> throw the party, but then I, I didn't want to be the reason anybody else spread it or caught it. Um, but we did end up throwing him a very small, like it was like, I dwindled down the guest list. It was mostly family, some of our best friends, some actually couldn't make it because they feel sick, which is a bummer, but that's just throwing a shindig in these times. And, but so that took up all my time cleaning up the house because it was the first time a lot of people were seeing our house, which I vlogged all this, that vlog might already be up. I'm, again, I just keep filming and I haven't edited or put up anything, so stay tuned. I'm really rambling already and we're like, what, five minutes in? Um, so that's just where I've been, is preparing for the party. The party was yesterday, so if I look exhausted, it's because I am. But the party was so good. I don't, <laughs> that was the most, like, people, not necessarily been around, we did, he has been to um, a wedding, but it was like the most attention he's ever had. And I don't know if he liked it. <laughs> So he certainly likes all of his new toys and we got some really cute stuff. There's actually a little um, birthday haul in that vlog. I can link it up in the corner if it's up. If not, stay tuned. But yeah, so that took up all my time. Now, <laughs> the queen of taking on too much. Now um, we are getting, I mentioned this in a, it was like a chatty get ready with me. I can link that up in the corner. That should, I want to put that up first. I feel like that makes the most sense. I mentioned in that that we are getting our floors done. A lot of you guys ask all the time like, any big renovations you want to do on the house, floors was something we knew when we bought the house we were going to do, so we kept that in mind in the budget and what it would cost and all that. I wanted to do it pretty much right away, but then I was overwhelmed by it because we're going we're going to have to move everything upstairs, downstairs. And I should we should have done it when I was pregnant. I just found it too overwhelming, but it is what it is. We're doing it now because the carpet is causing some eczema irritation in both me and my son, and that's not cute. So it's going, it's nasty old carpet, it's, it's leaving. We are doing the exact same flooring that's downstairs throughout the whole house, up the stairs, everywhere. We'll get big rugs. I, will li I won't lie, I am a little worried that I'm gonna miss carpet just cause you know, I'm, I'm a 90s kid. I grew up with carpet. It's cozy, it's comfy, but I feel like there's obviously been a discovery that carpet is pretty nasty and it holds on to a lot of stuff and it hides a lot of things. And so I am looking forward to how much better it is for our breathing and just easier to clean. Ludo throws up on the carpet like once a month, <laughs> which speaking of, I've gotten some messages about it and I wasn't going to talk about it because I don't know, but Hoover used me and Ludo in one of their like Instagram 
I don't know if it's a reel, it's like an ad reel, um, but so many of you have like messaged me or like commented me and are like, oh my gosh, Amy. <laughs> yes, me and Ludo are in a Hoover commercial. I can't remember what it's called. I'm a terrible spokeswoman. But that thing, whatever it is, it's like one of those carpet sucker uppers. <laughs> point is why th what am I saying I just wanted to say that that thing really does work and when Ludo pukes that's that thing sucks up all the mess so my dog's messes are actually completely gone when I use that thing but anyway back to what I was talking about the floors so uh, the floors are starting Wednesday today is Sunday we have three days to take everything from the top level and move it to the the, the downstairs I I, I Whatever, it is what it is. But I did want to get a little bit of filming in, so I want to film this. I want to try to film, pre-film a couple other things if I can. While the floor people are here working, Milo and I will be going to my parents' house for during the day, just so he can have quiet time for naps and all that, and I will bring my computer and edit there during naps. So I do want to get some pre-filming done. Oh, it's also time for a favorites video. I've talked forever, let's talk more about favorites. <laughs> but also basically I wanted to give you all that backstory so that a lot of these things make sense. Keep in mind, I don't have a lot of makeup because I had COVID and I wasn't really wearing makeup. It's also so hot. And I don't know, it's, I don't know, that was one of my symptoms of COVID. I never had a fever, but I sweat the entire time. I was so hot. Until bedtime, I would get in the bed and I would have chills, but I never had a fever. But between that and the summer, and I feel like just postpartum in general, I sweat more. Like, I just feel like I'm a sweatier person. Is that a thing I don't even know? I blame everything on postpartum. It could be old age, who knows? But I just feel like I'm hotter this summer, so there's no point in wearing makeup because I just like sit there and wish I didn't put it on. I don't have any nail polish, so we'll just jump into some makeup favorites. I do have a couple rediscoveries. This one I love so much. It's the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. First Aid Beauty is great if you have sensitive skin. I don't necessarily have sensitive skin. Like I'm not super sensitive. I'm prone to dry patches and also breakouts. It's really cute to have them both at the same time. But if you are someone that deals with like really sensitive skin, you can't handle fragrance in your products and you just, you can't handle a lot of things, try First Aid Beauty. They have a lot of different types of products and that's kind of what they're known for is that they're like sensitive skincare. So this is a makeup primer and I love this stuff for multiple reasons. One, I just like the way it looks. I really feel like I, you know when you just use certain products and then you catch yourself in the mirror and it's a good skin day? I always have that when I use this. But as a primer, I like it because it is hydrating. If my skin is feeling a little dry before I'm doing my makeup, um, I usually have some time in between my skincare and my makeup, whether it's because I do my hair in the meantime or I'm doing makeup way later in the day than I did my shower and my skincare in the morning. Just sometimes my face can feel a little dry and I will always reach for this because it just feels really moisturizing and hydrating, but I also love the way it dries down in sort of a tacky way, but it doesn't feel tacky on my skin. It still feels moisturizing, but it's like a nice tackiness for the makeup to like adhere to, which is the point of the primer. I just, I love it. I think it's a fantastic product. This is like my third bottle of it. I am on First Aid Beauty's PR list, which I'm so thankful for because I love a ton of their products. And that's how I discovered this. And every once in a while, they just send like a goodie package and one of these is in there. So I am stocked on these. Oh. Did you hear that? My God. So I've been using it again as of late and I just wanted to mention it because I totally, totally love it. I also mentioned this in another video. My skin has, I'm having a new type of breakout that I'm not used to. Like I get the breakouts on my chin as usual, but they're not really like zits. That's such a gross word, but pimples is gross too. Whatever. They're not really zits you can pop. The stuff that's in them is kind of just clear, but it's definitely like a zit. And I keep thinking it's a product and I keep trying to eliminate different things and I feel like I've eliminated everything and they still pop up. Maybe they're hormonal related. I have no idea, but it's like a new situation and they're annoying and they're on my chin and sometimes on my nose and they're annoying. And so I just feel like I've been dealing with more redness than usual. So when I do want to wear makeup, I use this today. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid. Um, this is the green one. I don't even know if they still make this. I'm sure they do, but I love this stuff. It's just like a normal concealer. It's just green. Before I even do my foundation, after I prime, I will dot this on the spots, blend it out with my um, Morphe sponge. And it does look like a little green, obviously, but once you get the foundation on top of it, 
it just kind of cancels out the color really well. I am not somebody who's very good at covering spots. Like I watch people on YouTube and Instagram do their makeup and cover their spots and like they stay covered all day and I'm just, I don't have that skill or my skin doesn't do that. <laughs> I feel like at a certain point my spots are always showing through my makeup. I'm just a normal human. But this definitely tones down the redness and I have been using it almost every time I do my makeup just on the red spots on my chin. You guys. So I think the last video one of the last videos I uploaded was a morning routine which I love doing routine videos I don't even know if you guys enjoy them anymore I will always enjoy watching them I will always enjoy filming them because I will always enjoy watching them back especially now with Milo and just watching how our routines shift and I always like to see I don't know I, don't, I what was that? I also always say I used to be like a really heavily based beauty channel and I'm not anymore so routine videos and favorites videos and also like get ready with me videos are easy ways to still keep you in the loop of the beauty products I'm loving because I, I don't do a bunch of videos on them anymore but I am still very much into them. So I will link that video up there but in that video I tried this blush for the first time. It's the Benefit Butterfly Blush. They came up with I think 16 new boxed blushes. There is truly something for everyone and there are such pretty shades that came out. I kind of want to get more, but I need a new blush like I need a new nail polish, you know? But my sister got this and it was like, that is gorge. I need that. It is pretty much a straight up orange blush. I don't have anything like this. And when I used it in that morning routine video, it did come out a little splotchy, but I'm not going to blame the blush. I think I truly have forgotten how to put on powder blush because I've been using cream blush nonstop for like the last two years. Or my physician's formula butter blushes which are pretty creamy and they're like i don't know they just don't kick up a lot of powder not that this does but i don't fault this for the way i'm putting it on i feel like i'm relearning how to put on powder blush but once i get this i'm wearing it today where i want it i love this color i love that it's like a golden orangey bronze like it's just so interesting and i i knew it was a little bit of a gamble because i have freckles and like things can look really muddy on me but I actually really like the way it looks. And I also think this would be flattering on a lot of different skin tones, whether you're even fairer than me, you have olive skin tone, I think it would be beautiful. Some deeper ones, it would be a nice like pop of orange. Like it's just fun for summer, smells really good. Beautiful packaging and it's the box blushes, but they are thinner. So they're not quite as like obnoxious as they used to be, but there are some really beautiful shades and maybe I'll pick up another one. I don't know. But for now, I am just, the color of this is the main thing I'm loving because I just don't have anything else like it. I have a skincare favorite, which I wanted to mention this last month, but I had just started using it. So it's like, let me just wait. If it's really a favorite, I'll mention it next month, you know. But this is the Josie Marin Get Even Sun Milk SPF 33. I am also hashtag blessed enough to be on Josie Marin. PR list and they sent this over. This is a newer product and I love it. It is so, it's like everything. So, okay, I can't even, hold on. My back hurts for being on my feet all week trying to throw a party. What if I fell asleep? What if I fell asleep? What if I did a live stream and I fell asleep? How long would you wait? <laughs> So this is just kind of the best of everything. Okay, again, the air is on and I feel like it's moving all my hair this way. But the, oh, that reminded me of the shot in um, Nightmare Before Christmas or Sally, I don't know. If you know, you know. <laughs> but this, for the, what I can tell, doesn't break me out. I was having those weird breakouts before I started using this product. It is a mineral sunscreen, so it's a little bit of a cleaner situation for your health and your skin. I have not gotten burned when I use this. I even went to the pool uh, with my family and I realized that I didn't put on any face sunscreen but I put this on every day regardless of what I'm doing. I didn't get burned. It was amazing. I did put on body sunscreen but I realized oh my gosh I didn't put any on my face. A lot of things with sunscreens that people usually hate. It does not irritate my eyes. There is no white cast and it's not greasy. It just is like the best of everything. It's just such a really nice product. I'm sure it's a little more on the pricey side because it is Josie Marin, but they use really good quality ingredients and it's great skincare. I'm loving a lot of Josie Marin products. Again, I'm I'm on their PR list, but I'm be I would be completely honest. I've just had the opportunity to try a lot of their products and I'm loving a lot of them. But this one is probably like my most fave of the month. Well, that and the next thing. But like every day when I get to use this, I'm like, ooh, yay, love it. Smells really good too. I don't even know what it smells like but it smells like summery 
Oh, it smells so good. But again, I feel like everybody's, that's the trifecta. You want a sunscreen that doesn't irritate your eyes because that can be so annoying. Doesn't pill up, that is a thing too if you like try to wear makeup on top of your sunscreen. With no white cast, which like a white cast isn't the end of the world and that happens a lot with mineral sunscreens as well. Like it can be harder to rub in, but it's just nice to not have to take the extra effort to rub it in and it's not a greasy finish. So like, I don't feel like I have to wear any makeup on top of this or like, you know, dull a shine down. Like it just looks like a normal lotion but it's protecting my skin. Okay, I have a hair fave next. This is a dry shampoo. This, I think, is the most favorite dry shampoo I've ever used, which I'm very picky about dry shampoos because, and I always say this, I don't know if anybody understands what I mean, but I feel like they get in my mouth. Like the powder, I feel like I can taste it all day. I feel like I, sometimes the dry shampoos are just so like, they just make me feel dirtier, if that makes any sense. Like I don't feel any cleaner. I just feel like there's more goop in my hair, but not this one. So this is the Eva, Ava NYC Freshen Up Invisible dry shampoo powered by rice starch and argan oil no sulfates no parabens no phthalates it's vegan and cruelty free and this is 100 percent recyclable great the the performance of this is incredible i bought this kind of on a whim i feel like i have heard people say good things about this and i've tried eva nyc stuff before i can't remember what it was but I do remember that I liked whatever it was that I tried. And so I saw a two pack of these at Costco and I was like, let me try it. I got two of these for $15, which is such a good price, especially now that it's my favorite. You know, I don't love that it's in like, you know, the aerosol can, but it is what it is. <laughs> but this soaks up my nasty, greasy hair so well, leaves no white cast and my hair like, doesn't necessarily feel cleaner, but it, it just, it feels good. It feels really good. I, during pregnancy and my laziness of pregnancy, trained my hair to only be washed once a week, which if you didn't know, that is a thing you can totally do. And I can speak from experience. I've done it several times where I train my hair to go a little bit longer without washing. Once I learned that trick, I, um, I used to wash my hair every four days. So it was a little bit of a learning experience for my scalp. Um, but it totally leveled out and now during pregnancy it learned to, to be washed once a week Which I'm sorry if that grosses you out, but my hair can take it, but it does get oily up top So about day five I will revive it and then I have a few couple days left I actually usually wash it on Sundays, which is today, but it's looking so good So I probably won't wash it, <laughs> but that's just what I do mid my week cycle of not washing my hair I will just freshen up with this Spray it on the roots and again, there's no white cast. It's not even like a thick powdery substance It is my favorite dry shampoo I've ever used if you're in the market for a new one Try it. I like it better than the Batiste. I used to be obsessed with the white Nirvana one But I think that one is gone anyway. I, I really like this. Okay This is a fave and a flop and it's not just a flop because it's a flip-flop. <laughs> so these are Sliders, I guess you'd call them. They're from Universal Thread they are very comfortable. I would, I, I like this idea because I feel like my feet, and I know this is a thing, grew a little bit in pregnancy, but like not a ton, like not an entire shoe size. So it's just making like my old shoes a little bit difficult to wear. Not that I even own that many shoes. I'm a weird girl. I'm not that much into shoes. What I lack for an affinity for shoes I make up for in nail polish. <laughs> but like, I am not a Carrie Bradshaw shoe lover. Like I don't mind them, but like, it's not something that, I, well, you get it. And so I found myself constantly wearing flip flops and I was like, okay, I don't really feel that put together in these. So I was like, everybody's wearing like cuter slide type shoes where they're, they're still a sandal. I I do like an open-toed shoe so you can see my toes. I do keep my toe game up. I get regular pedicures and all that. And so I found these, I, I loved them and they were so comfortable and so I bought them. The issue is that I call these my fart flops because I don't know what happens. And I don't even have sweaty feet. I have very dry feet. I step in them and it farts like every single step. But it's upsetting because I would wear these all the time and maybe it's just kind of like, like this has to get worn down a little bit. Um, I have been wearing them just like out in the garden when I'm watering. I find them really comfortable for that and obviously really easy to slip on. But they're my fart flops and I, I don't know what to do. Maybe it's just the shape of my feet and then the shape of this thing. But that's also I feel like what makes them so comfortable is like your foot just like, it's really nice and caressed in there. I don't know, but fart flops 2022. Okay, this was a COVID specific favorite. Um, this round of COVID was definitely easier on me, sadly harder on Milo, but quicker for us both, which is the good news. But this round, 
I was so congested, I couldn't breathe out of my nose. Like if I didn't have a mouth, I would have been screwed. <laughs> and I was so congested, it was making like the sinus pressure in my head and my head feel like it was going to explode. And I just was looking for a little bit of relief. And so whenever I am feeling under the weather or congested, I do reach for my eucalyptus oil and I just put it in like the corners of my showers so that I, corners of my shower, just one shower, so that the water isn't hitting it directly, but the hot, steam hits it and kind of creates a bit of like a steam room effect if you will and it was so helpful i would do it morning and night and just like sit in there and just breathe it in and it really like at least helped open up one nostril i do get a lot of questions whether i still use my young living oils i do i got out of the practice of them in pregnancy just because i was very bothered by most smells and i didn't want to like ruin any oils for me forever so i just kind of eliminated them but i just kind of like fell out of the practice of them oils and using them is kind of a practice it's like a daily thing if you gotta apply them to your body you put them in the diffuser it's a i love it all it's a really nice ritual but i just fell out of the habit of it but i am diffusing again i actually just organized my oils drawer downstairs i will insert a beautiful clip it is stunning um i found these little like drawer oils organizers that fit these bottles perfectly whether they're 5 ml 15 10 anything like that or a roller as well and they just kind of like sit up a little bit you'll see it's beautiful i'll link them down below you get a pack of eight for like 12 bucks i think not bad you could also probably fit like lipsticks and other stuff in there too but they were just interesting anyway that could be a favorite on its own but this was a lifesaver doesn't necessarily have to be young living oil those are my favorite oils but any eucalyptus oil will do if you find yourself in the congested phase of covid or you just have congestion from other issues try it it is such a helpful trick and i am just going to keep this bottle in my bathroom now so that it's, it's like not out of sight out of mind um it's also just nice to like a relaxing shower to wind down at the end of the day baby favorites i actually have more baby favorites because i just placed i had old navy super cash i am an avid old navy shopper now that i have a child old navy is by far my favorite place to get clothes for him because they are very cute very comfortable wash well everything is they're very good about gender neutral so um like carters will have something i want or like but they'll have like bows and frills old navy everything is like gender neutral so even if it is a pink item it's just pink and so i have no problem putting my son in pink i love that and it's affordable and their stuff is just really cute they're always coming out with cute stuff and super cash so like every time i buy some they gave me super cash that I can use for the next time. And so this time I had a couple like $30 off of $75. And I stocked up pretty much on his entire like fall and winter wardrobe for I think $110. Which for the amount of things I got and a couple pairs of shoes, like and we're set, I, that is very reasonable. Especially because now we're in the sizes where it's like 12 to 18 months. It's six months instead of three months. So whatever. I, I bought a bunch of that. There are some other things I want to acquire. The Halloween stuff is out. I want to do a baby fall clothing haul that rhymed um so i will i'll do that a little bit later um just in case you have kids and you want to get your hands on that stuff too and want to see what they look like so even though i wanted to show you some of that in this i'm going to wait <laughs> this is so cute i don't know how you can hold it this is from okay so you guys know we love the love every play kits i am also again hashtag blessed enough for them to send us those every um you get them every two months i think now it's every three months now that he is a year um but they're basically um montessori style toys that are developed for their specific age to help them in their development and milo is obsessed with them he does of course enjoy like the light up toys that make noise of course but he really does enjoy like a puzzle type toy um currently his favorite are from I think it was even the last Love Every box, but he's just now figuring it out. It's just a stack of like three jars. It's like a Russian doll effect, but jars. And he's obsessed with them. He will just put them in and out of each other, put the top on. And I remember when I got that toy in the mail, I felt like, oh man, this is gonna take him forever to figure out because he just wasn't there yet. And now watching him do it without a problem, is just wild. Watching a baby develop is wild because they change every single day. But anywho, he loves a lot of the Love Every toys. The Anything also where you're putting a ball in something or you're putting something in something they have a lot of baskets and like felt balls he loves those anything you're like putting things together or putting things into something he's all about this is actually for toddlers so it's it's a little old for him i don't think he'll figure this out i mainly we got this for him for his birthday um, I hold on I need to go back love every has a couple of toys that you can get at Target which I love so they're a little bit more affordable there's some for different age ranges I think we got all of them 
Um, I just, he loves those toys so much, I want him to have all of them. He got a couple from his birthday from other people, but we bought him a lot as well. And this was one of them. I mainly bought this for shelf decor though. <laughs> so this is basically like a stacking cup, but it's a rainbow. So it's these different shapes. Um, I don't give him the two smaller parts just cause I don't know if he can choke on them. So I just give him these. He loves them, he bangs them around. <laughs> but mostly for now, they are adorable on a shelf. That's what I've really enjoyed about in decorating Milo's nursery, which I do want to do a nursery tour, maybe once the floor is done. I can get in there and give you a little room tour now that like things are set up and we know our system is working and you know all that kind of stuff. But something I've learned I love about decorating a kid's room is you can use their cute toys as decor on shelves if you decide to put shelves in there because it's also great storage. You could just put it you know either if it's a low shelf or a high shelf. Like he has these super cute poo blocks that are on his shelf and he literally stares at them as he goes to sleep um, and just things like that. Things I can easily get down and he can play with but then when I'm cleaning up at the end of the day they just go back up on the shelf and it's so cute. I love a rainbow. Who doesn't love a rainbow? He loves the rainbow and it's hard to show you, but it is very cute and very cool. Oh, and I forgot, I was gonna mention this earlier, but I wanted to mention this dress. I love this dress. I wore it for my son's birthday party yesterday, so it is dirty. I just put it right back on to film this. <laughs> but it's pretty much, the, it's a. It's from Target. It's the Knox Rose brand that I love, but I love the color, like the mustard color. It's pretty much the exact same dress as my very favorite dress, the red one that I bought in pregnancy because it was very bump friendly, but I still wear it all the time. It is my very favorite dress. I. I love the way my body looks in it. I feel very comfortable in it. It's lightweight. It's perfect for summer. I love it. They don't, I, I'm raving about it. I don't think they sell that one anymore, but they came out with like the same design, a bit of a different fabric. And this one actually has a little bit of a slip under it. So it's not see-through, which I normally hate. I find that so uncomfortable, but this one is very comfortable. And I just love the color and the sleeves and the little situation, the ruffled tiered hems going down your body, which makes it more flattering on my body right now. And I'm just loving it. So I wanted to mention that. I also wanted to mention this Ana Luisa ring, which I am an Ana Luisa ambassador. They sponsor my videos. This one is not sponsored, but this ring I am obsessed with. This is the Lillian ring. It is a tiny like pear shape diamond looking thing. It's not a real diamond. And then it has small studs on the sides. It looks like a real ass ring. It is absolutely beautiful. It's gold. Again, I need to get my engagement ring resized. It's actually been a while since I tried to put it on, but I am still, I just know I'm, it's not, <laughs> I need to, my fingers are just bigger now from pregnancy and I need to get my ring adjusted, so I will. But in the meantime, I've been wearing this because I do like to have something on my, just so to swat off all the men trying to marry me. I'm like, hey, I'm married. <laughs> but I love this ring and I will wear it on this hand when I get this situation figured out because it is a gorgeous ring. I love it. Even I, my friend yesterday at the party was like, that is so beautiful. And I was like, I know, it's just such a nice ring. It would look good on any finger. Like your middle finger would look good. Um, it might be a little hard to stack with just because of the pear shaped diamond thing, but it might be beautiful stacked, but I love it. I've been wearing it every single day. Milo loves it too. He always plays with it, but I wanted to mention that because I, I just, it is my favorite ring I've gotten from Ana Luisa and I have a lot that I love from them, but this takes the cake. But okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know when it's going up. I'm gonna try and edit it and get things going as quickly as possible. But as I said, a lot is going on. So please bear with me. But I love you guys so much. I am going to try and vlog. I don't know about vlogging the actual floor people because I don't know them like that. But like the process of packing up our house and getting it down. Like I will show you all of that if you're interested. I love watching crap like that. So I will document as much as I can. So stay tuned for more vlogs, more videos. I need to do an empties video coming up. I wanna do a summer night routine and then soon before you know it, we'll be rolling into fall videos. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. If for some reason you're a new subscriber and you sat through this whole video, I will have my face. You can click and subscribe as well as some other videos you might have missed or you might enjoy. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.